What's going on, guys? So uh, I'm going to go to the gym here in a minute. I have to do some. I have to explain some. I see what's going on now. This is actually the silliest thing. That this is this is why they made my buddy uh, who stole or uses copies borrows all of my um, ways to fuck with people ideas. This is why they made him the head of the uh, army psychological operations because is how good this shit works. Okay, so Blair Wright just put out a video um, and. She's basically paraphrasing everything I said before, uh, but she has a bigger reach, and I told her she could copy me and whatnot, because, it, like, girls should make videos, and technically, she is a third gender, she's the cogenitor and all that bullshit. Um, like, again, like, a Blair White is an actual trans, uh, uh, you know, a dude in a wig trying to, like, swim with a bunch of women to get a gold medal is not a trans. It's, I don't want to, it's retarded. Uh, ma'am! I don't want to get into it, right? Again, like, and I said that thing about, like, Hannah Gabby, apparently there's two Hannah Gabbies. Like, there's one who's, like, super obnoxious, and one who's German and was born with a uterus and a how-do-you-do, right? That's what I'm talking about, right? If you're born with a uterus and a how-do-you-do, you're not a, you're not a he or a she. You are actually, then, I, okay, then, go by a, whatever third, whatever you want to go, and even then, she just goes by a she. So, um, it's not what I'm talking about, though. Okay, so, uh, first of all, I did meet Tiffany probably a couple times, and I was just so drunk. That's why she kept getting mad at me and asking me if I was drunk. And um, apparently she kept matching with me on Tinder because she, I was supposed to, like, call her, and I just, like, never did. I, I was drunk. I, what do you want me to do, right? And then, uh, she's so cute. I remember her now. Oh my god, she wears glasses. Uh, she's so tidy. That was her who walked past me on the street. She, I was supposed to remember her. I, th I, if there was like a fuck ton of other people and it was a split second, the fuck did you want me to do? But, anyways, that's not what this is about, though. So, um, where am I at in the video? I haven't even finished watching the video. Someone else had. To, I'm nine minutes and fifty nine seconds into the video, and I had to pause it because. Well, first off, what Blair White's talking about like third gender bullshit. Like, what, what, what she means to say is, okay, so that one time I went on a rant about how like sexuality was in the ancient times. Look, like, whatever derogatory way of looking at like sexuality would be today. That was only if, like, you didn't fulfill... That That was if you were, like, the non-dominant one. So, like, you could be a man married to a woman, and they would, like, still call you, like, names and make fun of you and whatnot because your wife was bossing you around, all right? At the same time, you could be, like, uh, you know, like a whatever couple, and they wouldn't give a shit because it was, like... One was dominant and one was the submissive. But it's like when the, like, the one who's supposed to be submissive acts dominant, that's when you would get made fun of, right? So the, it, to them, it was hypersexuality. So it, again, it was like, it wasn't who are you having sex with, it was why are you having sex? So yeah, if you look at it like that point of view, it doesn't really fucking matter. Like, all the ones who are, like, trying to push all this weird shit onto kids are the ones who are hypersexual. The ones who just want to, like, live their lives and happen to choose to fall in love with this person or that person don't act weird. So, like, and to be quite honest, the whole, like, um, thing about gender and all that bullshit didn't even come around until after uh, the Ni Nicene Creed when they started using religion as a form of control. Because religion used to be more about like spirituality and then it became a state-funded form of control. Because there's like stories and poems of how there's like, like well there's like some like famous poem, some like Greek or Ro Roman poem, how like, I mean you want to talk about some trans bullshit, check this one out. Some like, uh, dude goes to some temple and like eats some berries or drinks some like water or whatever blessed by one of the goddesses it uh, takes a nap and wakes up and is a chick and then goes around banging as many dudes as possible and gets pregnant and goes back and does the ritual to turn into a dude again and then uses the knowledge of getting banged as a chick to bang other chicks and weird shit like that it's you, like, 
you, you don't you like that one's a complex read that one's a complex read and it was in latin and all that bullshit and it was before google translate and all that bullshit you had to like like the ruler and like okay that one and then go to like the, the fucking thesaurus or dictionary and like huh I quiver in my loins through my thighs. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck is this bullshit? As soon as I quiver through my loins through my thighs. Huh. It's like weird shit like that, right? Anyways. Um, no, but that was an example of the... Uh, of how ruinous hypersexuality could be. Because instead of being a man or a woman, you spent like all day like being neither and just going back and forth and all that bullshit and getting nothing accomplished. Because like if you were a woman, you were the head of the household and the hearth and all that bullshit. And if you were a man, you went out and you worked and you conquered and you provided and all that bullshit. So if you were a woman who went out and provided and all that bullshit and a man who stayed home and cooked, then you would get mocked and laughed at, right? Like they would be like, oh, look. Uh, like all the people in in Soho, Rome, where all the women go out and work, and all the men stay home and cook. That's what it would be. Like no one gave a fuck about anything. Like it was, did you fulfill your role in society? That's kind of what it was. But no, she's one hundred percent right. People should focus on why are you having sex, not who are you having sex with. It's fucking retarded. Which leads into Operation Eddie Azerno. So, uh, <laughs> one day. What did, this was English class. Lisa Booth wasn't in this one. She was in our psychology class, and she was a sophomore, and I was a senior, but I was supposed to be a sophomore also. But uh, I just was wicked smart, so they kept skipping me in grades. Um, so in 10th grade, my buddy uh, uh, on the football team, I don't want to like accidentally dox him because the military clearance, all that bullshit. So we noticed that... Uh, uh, you can get people to do shit if you think every if you make them think it's cool, uh, and that people like to copy other people. And I, we were talking about how, because um, he was like, "Hey, he actually brought it up." He was like, "It's like that time when when you were telling everyone about Rapper's Delight because I like older shit. It's just what it is, right? Like basically, whatever like the older people in my family thought was cool, I thought was cool. And then by the time I got to the age." where it was cool, it was old, so it wasn't cool, but I still thought it was cool, right? Like Slick Rick and all that bullshit, right? Anyways, so I went to freshman football. They called us the Smurfs because our uh, fucking uniform was all blue. I, I, I went to the Smurfs, and I um, played uh, Rapper's Delight, and everyone told me it was stupid and whatnot. And then, like, a few weeks later, uh, the wedding singer came out, and all of a sudden, Rapper's Delight was cool. And I was like, you dumb motherfuckers. And... Uh, they were like, so if you can get people, so the, the whole thing was Operation Eddie Zerno is to get people to think something's cool that's not cool to get them to do it. And then like, ah, look, it's not cool and you're doing it. So uh, essentially, remember how I was talking about how I got invited to some party in New York and I went to the party? Uh Again, like, if I would have known it was Tiffany Wang's uncle inviting me to a dinner party that was legit, I would have gone. But, like, I'll get that in a second. But, like, um, I would have, but, like, normally what happens is, like, like, dude, like, I'm telling you, like, I went to one of these, like, parties at a bar with some of these people, and, like, these, this was crazy, creepy motherfucking photographer dude was, like, if you go home with me, I'll make you famous, and I'll get you to go viral, and all that stupid, I was, like, get the fuck away from me before I knock you out, you crazy, creepy motherfucker. At one of the Night for Freedoms, some rich millionaire motherfucker tried to, like, make a pass at me, and apparently was, like, talking about it and, like, getting coaching how to do it from some fucking douchey loser named Ivan Thorne or whatever the fuck. These people are so, they're all creepy weirdos, all right, I'm telling you, so, um, but at the time, they were all hiding it, so, um, can't really go into it, like, hacking-wise, I can, like, there's, you stop looking because you don't want to know, but, like, if you want to know, you can find out very easily, so, like, one of the first things I found out was that they were all hiding it, uh, 
so I was like, okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it cool to not hide it, and then they'll all come out with all their bullshit, and I have no bullshit, so I have nothing to hide, right? And that's when, you know, that dude who used to work with Sidney Watson came out about, like, banging um, Mike Harlow and whatnot, and then all that shit, because they were... But that, now, now I see why she was trying to like catch me on weird shit. But it's funny. That's that. That's actually that. That's Operation Eddie Azerno. Because what it was was Eddie Azerno was such a poser that uh, there was this thing started called the the Gay Straight Alliance, and we were like, guarantee you, Eddie is gonna try to because. Uh, one of the girls was bisexual. We were like, like, guarantee you, Eddie is gonna pretend to be gay or actually be gay to try to get with the bisexual girl. So we basically uh, tricked him into uh, coming out, and then uh, she she told him no, and then she tried to set him up with 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 her brother. It was fucking hilarious. It was fucking hilarious. Operation Eddie Azerno was fucking hilarious. But no, I got Jack Posopovic to start talking about uh, weird dating apps. Uh, Lauren Chen had a fucking video with it up on her fucking thingy, Majiggy. All those conservative losers came out. I told you they're all creepy weirdos, dude. That fucking girl who, uh, um, the Caribbean chick, she literally, literally was like, I do. She, she, gre- look, they fucking invited me to the fucking thingy with them at one of the hotel parties they were having and she grabbed me and was like we're not going with them we're not going with them we're not going i was like okay i'll give you a i'll, I'll walk you to your car and we'll make out for a little bit and if i would have shaved i would have gotten laid but i didn't want to put you through all that bullshit so instead i just said good night to you and and made sure you got home okay and all that bullshit. But, like, no, these people are all fucking closet cases. It's fucking weird. Like, I'm pretty sure that, like, uh, one of the younger ones, and I don't want to... I hate that I'm... I, I, What you do, I don't care. We're, they were, like, trying to ask me for, like, lifting, lifting advice at the gym and shit like that. And I was like, why are you sending me pictures? I don't need to see pictures of you. Just go lift. I don't... This is fucking retarded. What are you fucking... It, they're, it's fucking creepy. They're all creepy. So, that's why I don't want to hang out with them. I'm telling you. Like, that's why I'm like, Tiffany, you don't need to hang out with them. Like, if your stupid friend, loser friend, poser friends need to, like, you know, whatever the fuck, so they can sell magazines, you don't need to be involved in that bullshit at all. These people are, look, the person who I saw go home with that photographer got married, like, later on in that year, and they went viral. Okay, and one of the other people who was hanging out with that for, for, uh, photographer got arrested or was a scandal with them getting involved with sex pics with underage kids. Okay, and I told you all years ago how creepy and perverted they were, and I just got banned for doing it. So what did I do? I did Operation Eddie Azerno, and I made them all just like, they're all bragging about it now. They're all like, oh, yeah, well, yeah, Christian Walker needs to be quiet about the fact that I fucked Mark Harlow five times in one night because I have a uh, hundred thousand views, and psh, yeah, look at me, I'm, I'm whatever the fuck his name is, and, and uh, it's not cool. Uh, I don't want to fuck my girlfriend unless you fucked my girlfriends and all that stupid bullshit. You guys are fucking losers. They do all this bullshit because they don't want to get a job. Seriously. Like, if I would have known, like, and the other thing is, it's like, dude, you don't understand. I went to, I went to Night for Freedom 2 and 3, and potentially 4, because I, they had Night for Freedom 3 twice, because I thought I was going to run into you again, because you were super hot, and you were surrounded by all those stupid loser douches all the time, and I kept trying to see you again. I couldn't remember what your number was. I was so fucking drunk that night. Someone dared me that I couldn't drink that much. And I was like, you're on, motherfucker. I don't remember who it was. She is so tiny. She is so tiny. No, but that's also why... uh, Blair, that's why I had to, like, uh, make that um, AI bot. But AI bots used to be, like... um, You used to have to host them yourself. Now, it's like ChatGPT. That's why I was always on the phone and all that bullshit. I was basically running shit from the command control server. 
on my phone. But uh, that's why I had to. Uh, that's why I made the AI bot that basically spammed. Uh, not spammed, but like. Uh, I, I swear to God, in like 2019 or 2020, whenever it was, when I had a Snapchat and it was like talking to Blair White, it like made her fucking year. She got so happy about it. I didn't have the heart to tell her that it wasn't really me. Uh, and like. Tiffany does the same thing where you like playback videos. I don't want to get into it, and, and that's why I like I know what you're doing. See, hee, hee, hee. but anyways, and she, I just agreed to let her loan me my own money back. I don't give a shit. You have to pay me twice as much. Okay, so I'll just make a million dollars then and pay you back and pay taxes on it and have nothing. <laughs> anyways, so um, no, but yeah. So once I started uh talking to Blair White about it, and I don't want to like sound conceited but like i totally know that blair white has a crush you don't understand like blair white's been trying to trap me for like years at this point that like if i mean it you just it would have happened by now it's best is what i'm trying to say but like uh uh um be that as it may it was just funny because uh once I started talking, because, like, dude, I'm telling you, like, even right now, Cernovich is, like, what, you know, I told him he can go ahead and copy me. Cernovich is, like, talking in, like, limericks and in haikus, because I was doing that with my cyberpunk shit. Uh, so, um, yeah, but they all copycats. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to make it cool to, like, talk to Blair White and to, like, you know, do all that fucking whatever shit. And then I just never did it. And they all ran with it, you know? It's like, um... Oh, what was it? There was some Monty... I got, I got the idea from a Monty Python skit, where there's, like... It's either the Spank the Pope one, because there's one where, like, the Pope... There's, like, the, the, the Pope just, like, walks in, and he's, like... There's, like, a mirror, and he's, like... Naughty Pope. Spank the Pope! Spank the dirty, naughty Pope! And then, like, the... You know, he's a spank, and he's like, Spank the dirty, naughty, dirty Pope! And then, like, the mirror moves a little bit, and there's, like, some nuns there, and he's like, Ahem. Ahem. And just, like, moves on. Uh, there's some other Monty Python... One. I, uh, I got the idea from a Monty Python skit, is what it is. But, dude, no, I told you, all of them... Look... I guarantee you, she's been hiring, like, um, um, like, uh, what's it called? PIs and shit like that to follow me around. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Okay? But, um, aside from, yes, uh, I, I, I can't go into it, but, uh, Sting Ops do exist. Like, there was that one time when, and sometimes because of the, um, they don't always share information. Sometimes sting ops will overlap. Like there was that one time when uh, basically uh, we thought we had caught uh, a pedo, but what it was was it was the cops trying to catch pedos. So I was like calling it in, and I was like, "There's some creepy fucking pedo trying to like lure people in, and they have a child in there, and the child is isn't being taken care of, and they're like." we're aware sir and i was like no i'm with this that and the other thing and so and so told me to tell you guys and blah 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 blah. and they're like tell them that we're doing one too and i was like oh fuck okay so like the, the that's why i tell everyone that those apps are mainly that's why it took her so long to get a hold of me on that app i was like these apps are only used i was like you're way too hot to be on this app you're probably a fed but and that's another thing they do I uh, hate to say it like this, but the reason why you're... And they probably have a way around this now. But the reason why you're supposed to make friends with the Blair Whites is because they will let you know who is a Fed and who isn't. Because the first... Look, if girls make OnlyFans to get ahead and all that bullshit for easy mode, imagine how, how plausible is this, okay? You're the girl cop... You come from a family of cops, and you're college educated, and you were a cheerleader, and played field hockey, and all that bullshit. You are new on the force. 
do you want to sit around and do paperwork and write tickets and all that bullshit? Or do you want to shake your little booty and do some sting ops and catch some motherfuckers be, you know, working as a prostitute and whatnot, right? How many do you think do that? Which is why, like, if they're hot, they're probably a cop and all that bullshit. It's a little bit harder to do all that bullshit and be a Blair White. You have to, like, really be dedicated to be a Blair White. So if you make friends with one of the Blair Whites, they'll be like, that bitch is a cop. Oh, shit. Thank you very much, Blair White. That's why I didn't, you know, whatever the fuck and all the other stupid bullshit. I was about to go spit game with that fucking stupid ass, whatever the fuck, and they were going to arrest my ass and all that bullshit. So, that's what it is. But no, seriously, she is right. All of those conservative commentators are Fruit Loops. I'm telling you. They've literally hit on me. And I was trying to tell everyone about it. And they were like, <laughs> he only has nine views. They're creepy motherfuckers. The only reason why I even put up with it is because I kept trying to run into Tiffany again. I didn't even know it was Tiffany. Look, you want to know why I didn't... <laughs> Do you want to know why I never tried to get a hold? This is so stupid. Do you want to know why I never tried to get a hold of Tiffany Wang? The whole, like, couple of few years that I was, like, doing all this stupid bullshit? Do you want to know why I kept going to Night for Freedoms and taking trains to Manhattan and doing those stupid parties? I was trying to run into that Asian girl again. Okay, seriously. You, like... I really didn't give a fuck about... I, I was looking for an excuse to keep going to those parties because I wanted to run into that really hot Asian girl again, okay? There was this tiny little Asian girl with glasses who kept staring at me, and I kept talking to her, and her stupid friends were around, and I couldn't get her alone. It was stupid. I wanted to fucking grab her by the hand and pull her into the fucking whatever the fuck and start making out with her. And I know she wanted me to because she kept staring at me and all that bullshit. Oh, she was so fucking pretty, too, and she smelled so good. Her friends are so stupid annoying. And it's funny because, like, I kept asking that one one of her friends for a cigarette and I, I had quit smoking I started smoking again just to like try to talk to Tiffany and I was like is that why you made that song ashes of a uh, that lyric ashes of a c cigarette and then she started like nagging me about bullshit and telling me how she's gonna loan, loan me back my own money so I guess that means yes but no what Blair White said times 10 like seriously like look the smartest thing to do would be to shut the fuck up and not say any of this bullshit, but, like, no, Operation, like, she basically is telling you why I did Operation Eddie Azerno. If I didn't do Operation Eddie Azerno, she wouldn't have all the tea she has right now to spill. Because they were like, oh, well, he's doing it, so we can do it too. Or they're like, oh, well, if he's doing it, then we're fine to do it. Uh, only come to find out I wasn't doing it. I knew you all were doing it. And I was like, well, if they, if they copy my tweets, they copy my speech pattern, they copy my texting pattern, they copy everything about me, watch them copy this one. Operation Eddie Azerno. High school, shh, fucking high school was crazy. Like, high school was crazy. You guys steal all my ideas. It's fucking bullshit. But, no, like, Listen to Blair White on the... I might even link a Blair White video. I'm not going to follow that grifter-ass bitch, but I'll link her video. All right, peace out.